Uh, so we've got two issues remaining on the table. One is uh, access to co-contribution for superannuation. So as you're aware, Minister, this is a predominantly female mm. um, work environment across the sector, across the state. Uh, CNK as the employer is proposing that um, existing employees who have taken up the option to opt into co-contribution for superannuation can remain, but any other existing employee and new employee will not actually have that option. And that's a change from the current arrangement, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we don't actually understand why that is the case. Um, if it's a financial issue, then they haven't proven otherwise that it is a financial issue. So uh, for us, it's, an, it's a that's a female issue for us mm, in the working mm. environment. Uh, and the other issue that we've got remaining on the table that we'd like to see resolved uh, in a fairly timely manner is our directors. So our directors, as you know, with the Early Years Framework and the QIPS and every other uh, national quality framework and every other paperwork that has to come through these centres, they need time to do that. And all we have asked for is half a day per week. Mm, mm. That's all we've asked for and uh, that's been rejected. And I understand there was even some further negotiations around that already with the... With yeah, we've got another meeting set for next week where we're hoping that CNK will uh, understand mm. that, that that is an absolute hot issue in the centres and that we need it resolved. And I think for parents, they understand you know, how hard our, our kindy teachers and our educators work in, in that setting. And I think you know for the whole community that the sooner and quicker that this can be resolved, um, the better it is not only for parents and the workers, but also for, for students, for the children yeah, as well. Absolutely. I mean, our view is you know, the longevity and, and future burnout of directors, and we've mm. already seen a trend you know, in the last couple of years where directors are choosing to go part-time, co-directors, and then working on their non-work days just to get the paperwork done. And that's just not good enough. Yeah, I understand, I understand. So, and this is an issue that you're hearing from your members across across the centres? Yeah, yeah, every centre. Yeah, so in regional Queensland as well as here in Brisbane? Across the state. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, no, thank you. It's really important, I think, as the Minister has said, to get a, a really strong understanding of what is happening on the ground. And I think, um, as I said, you know, what we really need now is for this issue to be resolved as quickly as possible. Um, you know, obviously, when we have a situation where we have predominantly women working in a workforce, we know that, you know, for any industry, there is still a huge disparity between women's superannuation and men's superannuation. And this causes one of the biggest disadvantages um, in our community. So let's hope that we get this yeah. issue resolved as quickly Absolutely. as possible. Yeah, well thank you for your time thank you today. Your time well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.